Right, so guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in Clare and we have just found this cemetery. Take a look at this. There's actually a key. I don't know where that came out of. But there's a key on the gate. Maybe that opens one of the, the mausoleums. We won't get locked in. Or the vaults. So these are the back of the vaults. We have a lovely path going around them. Some of them have grass for the roofs. Look at that. See the Lamb of God on this. Look at the lovely writing erected by Timothy Kelly. Unfortunately, the writing is lovely, but can you figure that one out? Rum something. Yeah. In fond memory of his beloved wife, I think, Mrs. Gosh, if anyone can read that writing, I find it very hard to read that. Who departed this life, the 10th of January, 1880. Now, I'm not sure whether it's missing something or that was just the design. But literally, its next door neighbour is this one. And this is erected by Margaret Whelan um, in memory of her beloved son, Thomas, 1889. He was just 49 when he passed. You see the little doors going into it. I think they call it calligraphy. Isn't calligraphy, it? yeah. So this one almost looks like it has these little windows, possibly for urns or... You know, like a nice vase. Um, and it's the Kelly vault. I can see in 1922 here, 1901. So obviously it looks like um, they've put up a new plaque and it says erected by Reverend MJ Kelly of the United States of America and his sister Rosula, Rosula um, of the convent Beauvais, France, in fond memory of their beloved father, Patrick Kelly. We were in Beauvais. In France? Yeah. The we were. It's a big cathedral, Gothic cathedral. That's right. In Beauvais. We stopped for a little while, didn't we? Yeah. So this is another time when we have come full circle and have, you know, have a connection again with the Kellys here and the sister Rosala um, of the convent in Beauvais, France. And... We have uh, Kelly names up here, Patrick, Thomas, Nora and Peggy, 1922 to 1992. But 1901 there, Marianne was interred. So that's fantastic, isn't it? But I'm just looking at the beautiful stonework of these vaults. It's just magnificent. This one has got a complete makeover. It's got a new slate roof or a tile roof. I think it's slate, actually, this slate. And we go up into this little alleyway. And just here, this one is completely covered in ivy, totally covered. And it actually makes it and like a, a grass roof on it. It's lovely. And this is for Susan Sissy Neve, 2002, age 77. Obviously the last one interred, I'd imagine, um, erected by Mr. Honan, I think it is. Um, Clon White in memory of his father um, 1881 there and then also uh, his uncle Jace or Jason I'd imagine he was 66 when he died December 80 and he was 83 it looks like or no hold on yeah it must be December 15th and 1983 I presume but look at it but somebody still has come and left um, flowers. Just going to show you this one here as well. We're already around the front of it. This is the back, isn't it? Just amazing. I wonder, what, like, when I look at these, the, you know, you, you see, like, almost a cottage. Yeah. And you kind of wonder, is it, like, home from home? Home from home, like possibly. Did, did these people live in cottages, and then when they were buried? Well, you can kind of see dotted around the... Clear, you can see these little abandoned uh, ruins of cottages, and they do give that feel all right. You know, like they're wished, yeah. This door looks like it's it's falling apart. And actually, here, look at this is a coffin handle, isn't it? Yeah, wow, 
wonder will we take a little look. Oh my gosh, there's loads of coffins in here. Loads of them. Loads even on that side. That, just some of them seem to be under like a black polythene, but that one you can see clearly the pink on the handle still. And if we go across this way, it seems to be a lot more. They're all falling down, unfortunately. Gosh, look at that. That one is actually lying kind of to its, on its side a little bit. We've one here, it certainly looks like it may have fallen down a little bit. Just there. Gosh, that is, yeah, one, two, actually that lower one there, I'm not sure I'd be able to show you, but it looks like, if we can just get a little closer to it, do you see the hole in it? There. And it's right into that coffin. I don't know whether something has fallen down or they've tried to make it. I don't know. There's a lot of, seems to be a lot of debris in there, doesn't there? But a beautiful coffin. Maybe and the plastic was put over them to keep them from getting wet. Or but it just gives us a great insight into what these actually look like. Because we've seen so many now. So there's probably more at the back. Yeah, and, uh, I'd imagine so. It's trying to see the bottom there. That just seems to me like it's right on the on the ground, doesn't it? Yeah. Unless there's another shelf underneath it. How sad. Right, so that's kind of a grim discovery in there. And it just goes to show. Like most of these, in fairness, are really, really well looked after. You can see, you know, they've got new roofs. Look at that the beautiful pointing is done. Jug. Beautiful jug here. Look at that. And this is erected by Michael Studdart. Um, 1862, they're age 73. But you know what this place gives me the vibe of? And you'll probably agree as we walk around. It's definitely the Irish New Orleans. And I mean, it is just amazing. These little vaults, tombs mausoleums whatever you want to call it um charles gallagher 1872 and look at this one this one has been whitewashed so that's another thing about <laughs> about ireland the walls are always whitewashed and this is what you know it's obviously after wearing off but this is amazing look at this we have a little lantern left just here yeah. erected by thomas Maloney and wife uh, for and wife Gower for them and their posterity. Um, it does look like I don't know where this has come from. Maybe it was an old plaque and they've made it a newer one. I'm not sure. But always those big steel kind of um, handles on them. Gosh, look at this one. Wow. Oh, wow look at this. oh my goodness. Look at this. There's a door here. Oh, wow. See, I love these. These are just fantastic. You would have went down what would have been steps at the time into the door and the coffin would have been pushed just under it. We have a, what it looks like. It looks like a small yew tree growing out of the top. Uh, look at this door. That is just, look at that. Oh, it's actually, you know, something you'd be nearly afraid that the door would, would fall in. Let's just have a little peep. Can't really see anything. No. It's almost like there's nothing in there. Well, we can see the top part of the wall. I think it's blocked. I don't think so because I can see the back of it. So unless the coffins go maybe right down, wait till we just take a look downwards. I don't know whether we'll see anything at all in there. Doesn't really look like we will. 
There is something coming up there. Ah, we've lead, lead coffins. That's what we have there. Quite a mess, I suppose. And I think, you know, this is really, really old. Really, really old. Look at the, the you know, it's completely rusted away. They've kind of c cemented the corners of it. But uh, I love it. I just think it's fantastic. Look at that. And as we just pan around, you'll see what I mean. New Orleans and uh, definitely the Irish version of it as we squeeze through the little tiny gap. So let's keep going. Here's another one. This looks like it's the Dylan Neil O'Brien, her son John, uh, his wife Mary Morrissey, and then this is probably the you know the original plaque it says Dylan here, Catherine Dylan, and her husband John, 1878 there. But just look what we're looking at. This is amazing. Another one like it's, oh my God, this is just fantastic. There's one over here. I want to try and get around to, if I'm able to. This one, it has like a little ornament and a candle. It's like a little chalice there. Uh, Cornelius McDermott. To whose memory the adjacent memorial cross is erected lie within this vault with his family and friends. Wow, that's kind of neat to see. Friends, yeah. And once again, guys, so many have commented about this. Remember me as you pass by, as you are now, so once was I. And as I am now, so you will be. So please kneel down and pray for me. We have seen that kind of verse so many times and you know it is always a reminder yeah a reminder of our own mortality and what we all will face look at all these old gosh ones. look at that you've years and years of ivy somebody has tried to cut it back but it just adds to it i think um it just adds to it it's just so beautiful this one to my left here is like, whoa, look at this one. It's all decorated, but it's like a blue house almost. I want to see if I can kind of stand yeah, back a little bit. Is New Orleans style. This is. This is the Cala, Cala, Calinin, Calinin family. And we've anything from 1930 to 1999. It's erected by Edmund Charles Callanan. I hope I've said that right in memory of his beloved wife. We actually have pictures on this one as well. Flags and stuff. It's beautiful. It's like, you know that whoever is in there is very much mo uh, missed and very much loved with all the, the flowers that are there. It's just gorgeous. Right, let's see if we can get back out and about with Serenity Sue and Grave visitations great vegetation <laughs> so where to next we'll try get up along here this is another one does this go down oh no it doesn't i thought this one might have been one of those vaults unfortunately we see here as well that the door does seem to be Dangerously close to uh, falling completely down. The writing, I can't really see it. Let's just have a little peep, see if we can see anything in here. Oh no, this is always the sad reminder of, you know, just like the poem that we read there, our own mortality. And I know a lot of ye have decided um, that, you know, you're going to be cremated when you see these kind of things. But 
Having said that, guys, it's only bones. The soul has gone. These are just the remains. But unfortunately, people build these magnificent mausoleums, vaults. And, you know, unfortunately, over time, this is actually what happens. Um, sad to see, but, you know, there's, it's nothing to, to worry about when your time comes. I don't fear death as much as what I used to. Now, you know, I know there's something else out there for us. Beautiful, look at that. Isn't it just gorgeous? And then this brings us to this one, also another kind of a blue one. Beautiful? beautiful robin on it. I love this, look. Somewhere over the rainbow we will meet again. And that's exactly what I was just talking about. The very same thing, you know, nothing to be afraid of. We will all be reunited. And this is another beautiful um, vault. Absolutely gorgeous. I think we'll keep going this way. But you can see what we're walking through, just these tiny little areas. This one, this is another whitewashed mausoleum. This is for the Breens. And right beside it, we have John Honan. Um, 1971, 1978, so not that awful old. Um, gosh, it just seems to keep going on and on. They have these little tiny ways that you can walk through so you don't step on graves and stuff. This one, it's almost, look, there's a newer part there, I think it's McDermott. Uh, very hard to read, but just there it does say James McDermott. And his wife, Delia. Look at these then. Oh my God. This is just, oh, these are just gorgeous. Look at that. Aren't they fantastic? Like, see the grass that grows on top of them. It does look like you're on an island. Like, just let's just look. And take a second. Just as you peer through the top of these vaults. And you can see all those little vaults behind it. You know, it does seem to me that as the further we go back, maybe the, the older they are. I could be wrong, but that's how it feels. We do seem to have the ruins of possibly a church. As I said, I don't know a whole lot about this area. This is something we just happened to see as we were driving by. Another vault there. Look at the way they've done this one. This is really unique. We have the gravel, the green gravel at home and a funny story some of you know this when i was small and we used to go to our family graves i thought these were real gems like so i brought them home <laughs> not from here but from my own family uh family's grave i brought them home thinking they were like priceless jewels Emerald stone. emeralds maybe yeah and of course when i showed them at home i got in so much trouble and i actually the next week when we went to visit again, I was made bring them back and try to remember, of course, where I took them from. But I love that. And in Ireland, we're blessed. We can do all this on our graves. That's really, really neat. And this, I think this is an iron door. So, oh, it's not iron. It's actually just, Painted, is it? I think it's timber. And the sound of it just makes me feel like it's really, really hollow in behind that. Um, but unfortunately, you can see there has been some sort of a headstone placed on top and that's just all completely broken, which is a shame. They're all unique in their own way. They are. They're just so beautiful. This is keen. Um, this looks like kind of like a modern one, isn't it? It's nice because you have a... You have the old, what would have been the old tomb slab on top. And then they have, look at, this is a brand new roof but it's it's um what do you call that like tiles and then we have all the people we have eliza her husband their son um we have his wife daughters oh and unfortunately down at the bottom it says daughter eliza died january 26 2nd 1916 age just 14 and a half the son martin october the 25th a year later 1917 age just four 
And then their other son, Patrick, he died in 1986, aged 91. But when you see those ages of uh, young children, babies, uh, you know, just it's it's shocking to read sometimes the, the sorrow that that family felt. This just place is just... <laughs> Look, we have a huge white one there. Kind of like a modern look. We have these little old ones. With this one, this looks like it's made out of all kind of a stone. Um, that one there looks like it goes far down. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, we were told that um, it's okay to walk on the grave slabs that are designed to, even though there's somebody buried in there, for people to walk around on. This is um, a crucifixion scene as well. We have pliers, we have the money, we have the hammer, a uh, ladder. So interesting as well. I don't see a date on that one. I'm presuming late 1800s. This one then unfortunately looks like it's in a bad way. My goodness me, look what I just see. An American flag. An American flag, guys. Would you be able to pick that up? I wonder where it's from. Oh. We'll, we'll stick it in the in the ground just here. It's as near as we're going to get. Will you put that over there just somewhere in the soft ground? Because that's kind of near to where we found it. I don't know whether it belongs to this one specifically, but it's near to to where we have found it. Um the writing here is gone as well. There is a hole there. I don't know whether we're going to be able to have a, a little peep in. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, there is. You won't really see it till after edit, but there's definitely something there. Um, could be maybe just a coffin or something, I'm not sure. Or maybe just debris. Uh, this one here. Whoops. Another kind of like, um, whoops, my phone is zoomed in. Another beautiful styled vault. We have over here what seems to be the ruins of what would have been a really large church i'd imagine church, yeah. do you think or would it have been an abbey or i'm half afraid to walk across here now because all we have are these uh slabs you can just see the ground is completely covered in them you have nowhere to walk but on top of them but as i said a local said it's okay they do it all the time and that's the way they were designed to kind of fit in everybody as tight as possible. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of going over to have a look. Yeah, it's like a little, um, I don't know actually. That to me, there would have been a vault. Oh yeah, so that to me would have been a vault. Possibly the entrance, so it's been all sealed up. It's nice and warm in here actually. We just have little flower pots here and here with birds on them the i'd say that's the entrance there yeah it goes down far, yeah i'd imagine so that the entrance just i don't know whether that was placed um after it or you would have been able to get down in under it i'm not 100 percent sure but you can just see that it's all so cemented over so this is just it's actually quite beautiful here do you know that the scenery around it is beautiful I want to try and make my way down to uh, that modern looking one. Sorry now, my nose is, is running with the cold. But I'm going to try and get us out that way. What do you think? Yeah, go around. The and go around. So I'll edge. put you back on in a minute. So as I said, we have the woods 
and the midgets, yuck. Uh, the woods all along the side of it. And then to our right as we're walking along, all of these unique vaults, some as I said have been really, really cared for and you know, they've um, really done them up. And then others, unfortunately, as we've seen as well, have unfortunately fallen apart. This one has just caught my eye and I have to look at it because it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It is the full uh, crucifixion scene. We have soldiers, weighing scales, hammer, pliers. We've angels, our Lord on the cross. Uh, 20 pieces of silver. There's just so much going on here. I think we've the key. We've uh, maybe a rooster over there, the serpent. There's so much detail there. Yeah, he's playing. It looks like a trumpet, is it? It looks like a wrench to me. <laughs> a wrench. He's playing a wrench. Uh, <laughs> you, you wouldn't know in Ireland. That's for members. <laughs> but look, at, it is absolutely stunning here. Gosh, look at that one. They've actually cemented in. You want to mind because some of these are slippy. The cemented in the area, but that would have went down and in under this uh, kind of modern looking vault. They've painted it. Um, the vault was erected by the Reverend Tim Honan. That name is, there's a lot of Honans here, aren't there? Mm -hmm. um, in memory of his father, may the Lord have mercy on his soul. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed especially those herein interred rest in peace amen I like beautiful the top part, the way it's yeah good. it's it's really kind of it's just giving me a modern feel to it or a modern look and there's a lot broke up too, isn't it? yeah and then there's you know i suppose some of these haven't had family uh visiting for so long and then you see the ones that have been um cleaned up and restored obviously they have family still here or they have done some research and they have found them but look at guys isn't it just amazing all of these vaults it's just fascinating absolutely fantastic oh yeah let me just go around and have a look Almost like Harrington. You'd put over a video. Is that the right? Yeah, it's just kind of. I'd say it's out of uh, like iron, but the name is Harrington. Great idea, actually, isn't it? I wonder. If it's, oh, it's it's in in the. It's actually made like an iron railing. Yeah, it's it. it's definitely iron. I'd say, um, just over the the field a little bit is the new um graveyard, and we actually have. A holy well here as well. A holy well here as well. Okay, a holy well here also. And that's just there in between the trees, you can see it. And Ireland is, is full of holy wells. They're dotted all over. But um, that one looks really well maintained there, actually. You just see it there. That's what that is, a holy well. Looks like a mound, yeah. It probably was a some sort of um, grave, maybe, yeah. There does seem to be a kind of a a plaque on, it, and that is sad. Now it could have been that the the mausoleum that was here, or the vault was here, had completely just been knocked down, and they've just left what's here. But look, guys, it's just amazing to be here, and uh, another tractor. <laughs> Ireland is full of tractors, no matter where you go. There he goes. Uh, you end up behind him for miles on the back roads. Right guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell and turn it to all that will notify you of when I upload next.
If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again soon.